Where are we headed? South. <laughs> <laughs> we are headed south. For, today we're going to talk all about our 2020 travel plans. We don't have it all the whole year completely ironed out, but we are pretty much through like July. We have a rough draft. Yeah, July ish time frame. Yeah. Um, we've already talked about a little bit about what's coming next after here. We're in Fort Worth now. Mm -hmm. And we're leaving tomorrow heading south yeah. and we're gonna hit Austin San Antonio Corpus Christi But we haven't really talked about what comes next after that. Yeah What's our what's our destination? July where are we headed? July Will we be there? In yeah July? We will? Yeah, we didn't rehearse this obviously <laughs> I didn't know we'd get there. The around last July. one on the list. I know, but I didn't know it would be July. Yeah. It'll be July. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go to Niagara Falls. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Uh, so we're gonna head south from here, all the way down to Corpus Christi, and then we're heading back east um, to Houston, Galveston, Beaumont. So we'll be in Texas for like the next eight or nine weeks still. Still, yeah. Because a couple of stops along the way, we learned a lesson in bigger places with more stuff to do we need more than a week yeah so there's a couple of stops along the way where we're going to be staying for two weeks mm -hmm. and then on our way up once we get to uh we're actually going to be going over through louisiana baton rouge mm -hmm. uh new orleans mississippi yeah then like gulfport biloxi area yeah. and then um we'll be heading over to uh destin pensacola area mm -hmm. really quick and then heading north We'll stop around home, which is Auburn, Alabama, yeah. and then we will um, we'll head head north up to Niagara Falls. Yeah. But we're gonna take our time. Yeah. A week here, a week there, cutting through the middle of the country. Yeah, and, it's kind of uh, like going diagonal. Diagonal from, up from home. But we're gonna hit some some major cities mm -hmm. and a lot of places that we've never been before, and so we're looking forward to that. Some of the other major cities we're gonna be in is. Um, Chattanooga, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and we we drove through there before, yes. but we've never we stopped stop. and explored. Yeah, uh, we're going to be stopping in Lexington, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Not sure what's there, but we'll see. What's I'm sure there. people will be able to tell us. <laughs> yeah, um, and then instead of going straight up through Cincinnati and Columbus on our way up, that's the that's the the shortest route up toward Niagara yeah. Falls, but we're not going that way. No, we've been there, done that. <laughs> oh man, when we made our trip to Newark and we went through through Cincinnati and Columbus, the construction it was and not RV friendly. White knuckle driving and 18 wheeler, 18 wheeler wall. It's just they go from crazy. four lanes to to during in that through the city. Yeah, and you'll get onto your exit and then you'll have to exit in like 0 0.02 miles it on is, the left, and painful. it's just very painful. So we're gonna skip. Yeah. Cincinnati mm -hmm. and Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. We're gonna head a little further east first over yeah. toward Charleston, West Virginia mm -hmm. And then we are gonna head north yeah. Up to Pittsburgh area Yeah Ish Ish And then up right up on Lake Erie up in Erie, Pennsylvania And then we'll head up to Niagara Falls from there. Yeah So out of that whole list What sounds the coolest? We've never been to any of these places. I know, that's why. It, Except for home. Yeah. <laughs> Except for home. <laughs> we yeah, have been so down. I'm the, excited to go to all. Yeah, we've been down in the Pensacola area, mm -hmm. uh, but never stayed for any significant time. And I think we're going to be actually a little bit further east, like Destin. Yeah. Area. They have a uh, military resort. Yeah, military resort. Where we can stay a little cheaper yeah. over in, in Destin, or there's some uh, some Air Force bases down there. Yeah, uh, that we can stay in. Yeah. So there's lots of mil it's very military friendly down yeah. there near Pensacola. So um, we'll stay somewhere over there. Yeah, on a military base. So um, we're trying to also see what all coordinates with these areas, like what events are going on. Um, yeah, maybe a, a baseball game or two. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe a NASCAR race. Yes, um, because we really be we really don't know uh, what what's going to come after Niagara Falls. We know that mm -hmm. after July, uh, we're going to start heading we're south start somewhere yeah. because when it gets to late fall, we want to be south. Yes. Uh, we don't want to get caught up in the Arctic blast like we got no. caught up in Oklahoma no. City this week, this, no. this year. Yeah. So that was not fun. No. Um, 
But I tell you, um, we've already been in in Texas for how many weeks? Six or seven. Yeah, and now we're gonna be in Texas for you know seven or eight more weeks, but in different places. Yeah. Now, well, I said we haven't been in these places. We have been to San Antonio. Yeah. Um, and San Antonio is one of our favorite places to be. It's really cool. But yeah. but um, it was short stops and didn't get a lot of time in San Antonio. So no. we're gonna explore San Antonio and find out all the cool stuff that we didn't get to spend a lot of time at. Yeah. I hadn't been there in forever. It's been you several have, years. But I have. Yeah. And then um, with I think it's um, is it Corpus Christi? I think Corpus Christi is where the USS Lexington is docked. So we're excited about it's, seeing that yeah. uh, because, uh, well, it's a special reason. And we'll tell you when we get there to the USS Lexington. Mm -hmm. um, um, never been to New Orleans. Nope. Um, luckily, we'll be there a little after, after Mardi, Mardi Gras, Gras. <laughs> so we won't hit that yeah. craziness. No. We'll be there after. Mardi Gras is in February. We'll be in New Orleans sometime in March time frame. Yeah. Um, we don't know all the exact dates, but we've kind of made a plan on, on the major cities that we're going to be in. So if you're going to be in these areas, or mm -hmm. if you know of cool stuff for us to, do, to do there, yeah. while we're in these areas, we'd appreciate you leaving a comment and letting us know what we absolutely have to see yeah. in these spots. Um, we're a couple of weeks ahead on YouTube. We stay a couple of weeks ahead on YouTube. Um, so we don't want to miss you. Mm -hmm. So if you pop over to our Instagram or our Facebook, um, in the description of all of our videos, there's links to all of our social media accounts. That'll kind of keep you up to real time where we're at because we post where we are, where at least time, yeah. a, it may be a day or two off, but at least you won't miss us. We'll kind of still be in your city yeah. if you can catch us through there. And then you can see all the really cool stuff on YouTube mm -hmm. after we're already gone from yeah. that area. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's been um, six weeks stationary here in Dallas, Fort Worth, and we're itching. Yeah. I'm itching anyway. Are yeah. you ready yeah. to move? Yeah, it, it kind of feels like starting over again. <laughs> it does. We're prepping today. We went and got some, you know, I had to get some grease and we had to get some DEF and yeah. and now went outside and tightened everything and lubed everything and so we're kind of like got to get, get back, back in, in the groove in checklist mode and, yeah. and moving day is going to be kind of fun tomorrow. Yeah, it hasn't been routine. <laughs> yeah. for, for and you six, move every week weeks. and then yeah you kind of yeah. fall out of the routine so um, get back in even a little nervous about moving tomorrow I'm like wow we haven't moved in a long time <laughs> so uh, it's not too far we're going from from here down to three hours. Austin so and we'll have a good time down there. Yeah. Oh we already have plans to meet up with a couple of, of people down in Austin and San Antonio mm -hmm. um, and we have some friends that are up uh, in a lot of the areas that we're going to be passing through, so we'll see some of our old military friends. Yes, that'll absolutely. be a good time. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be going live once a month uh, while we're out on the road, so wherever that lands, uh, we'll make sure to let you know. Yeah. But we had a good time. We got to spend a lot of time with your parents here. Yes. The the most time we've ever spent with them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a good yes or a bad yes? You were like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's great when you get to spend time with family, but it's great to leave too. <laughs> you can appreciate things more when you put some time in between. Yeah, it, it was fun though. It's it, yeah. it fun. I think like any family, it doses. You need it in doses. Yeah. I mean, you can't spend every waking moment with family and yeah, not lose your mind. But every every. Uh, set of family that we've seen along the way. We've got to spend so much time with way them. Way more than normal. Yeah. And so it's really better than just being on like a vacation. And yeah. Jamming in a couple of days of everything. Yeah, there was no rush. And we got to go to a couple of places with your parents. We got to go to a hockey game and went to the... the rodeo. The, yeah, the rodeo and went to the Mint mm -hmm. with them and went mm -hmm. to the, uh, the W. The w. George <laughs> W. Bush okay. Presidential Museum and Library. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't yeah. wait for the next presidential library. Yeah. Um, so, are we going to talk about what we're doing after Niagara Falls, or even a direction we're headed? We I don't want to jinx it. We have an really. idea in yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just say south. Yeah. Which is kind of a gimme. We're, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From New York, we're we're heading south. <laughs> we're not going to stay in New York for the winter. Surprise. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, but whether we're going to make it coastal or 
intercoastal. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to say yet because... Yeah, and stuff we, happens. We we know which way we want to go, but by July that <laughs> that could get stuff happens. Intercepted with something else, yeah. so I don't. Well, it is kind of good that our, our plans changed because it's going to force us to go back to our home area. So we went ahead and scheduled all of our dental appointments and medical, medical appointments and yeah and uh, all that cool stuff while we yeah, got to be so there. We and we'll get that. to see Lauren for yeah. a couple weeks while we're Checking there. On yeah, her. we'll stay at the same campground that we stayed at when we right before we launched. Yeah. So that'll be a, uh, a good memory. Uh, yeah. Less than a year after going full time, we're back where we started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If we have anything that we need to put in storage, we'll be close to our storage, storage area, yeah, we so can we can kind of dump there. some of our stuff that we acquired that we really don't need every day. Yeah. But we still want to have. Uh, mm -hmm. But we haven't acquired a lot. No, we've been doing good. We don't buy a lot of stuff. Yeah. But we are having fun. I, ha I have redecorated the bedroom already but that was minor yeah it was it was minor it wasn't me yeah. it looks good <laughs> <All right. laughs> another thing that we're looking forward to in 2020 is donating some more money to veterans yes um we've already got some some money set aside mm -hmm. uh that we that we do every time at the end of the month we tally up you know what we're giving to vets uh percentage is based off of different things uh, i'm not going to go into all that yeah. but we do have uh, some money and our next donation is going to be somewhere around the Houston or Galveston area. So if Probably. you are in the Houston or Galveston area and you know of a great veteran organization, kind of one of the smaller veteran organizations where yeah. a few hundred bucks is really going to help them out, you know, leave us a comment, send us a message, let us know so we'll that we can, we can check it out because we got some money to give away to veterans. Yep. And we got a new special way of doing that and we can't wait to do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Texas style. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. And um, I, I'm not, I don't even know how much it's gonna be yet because no. they're still gonna, we're still getting it's some still more money on the way there. But I will tell you the next donation is gonna be bigger than bigger. the last one. Yes. And we hope that every time we do it, it gets bigger. Yes. And that's how it, sh it should be. Yeah. It should be as we keep going and growing. So does the donation. Check. Yeah. And our plan is to donate to an organization about. Uh, once every three to four months, uh, we try to keep it. Try to keep it like once a quarter. Yeah, we find a place that way. Yeah, unless we just run across, we happen to run across right. somebody who really needs it, or someone who is like in dire need at the moment. Maybe an yeah. individual veteran who just needs a few bucks down on his luck. We will make exceptions for stuff like that. But for the most part, once every three months, we're going to be donating, and we just hope it keeps getting bigger and better every time. Yeah, yeah. and that's because of you guys. So thank you for that's watching right. everything that you do, and watching, sharing, liking, subscribing. You know, all the help on Patreon, the uh, super, super chat, chat money, yeah. the donations to PayPal, all that stuff helps helps us help veterans. And uh, it just, it, it gives us something to look forward to. Yeah. Not only do we have something to look forward to in going to see the next city or the next place or the next cool thing, we always know that we have uh, a veteran organization or a vet to look forward to helping out. Mm -hmm. And that kind of makes it more fun and interesting too, because we don't even know who we're giving the money to yet, which makes it fun. Yeah. You know, kind of keeps the suspense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us know what you're doing for 2020. Yeah. If you're going to be out there and about, if you're going to be close to us, let us know. We'd love to link up with you. We've met so many people already, mm -hmm. uh, and we haven't even been a year full time yet. But in 2019, we got to meet some great people, some great other YouTube channels, did some collaborations. We'd love to do that kind of stuff with yeah. you. So reach out to us if we're going to be in your area. And down in the description, we'll put a list of all the cities that we just named that we're going to be in and kind of a time frame-ish yeah. so you kind of get an Different idea. Thing. And then um, hopefully we'll be able to hook up and hang out for a little bit. Or maybe if you're pretty close to that area and you're like a part-time RVer, you know, maybe you can plan a trip to be close to where we're going to be at and we can hang out for a few days and go explore some stuff together. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 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 What? If, as long as the weather stays like this or yeah. gets better, Scout will want to come out. Yes. Scout <laughs> will be out in the summertime. So. I'm anxious for that. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out on the warm days. Yeah. But when it's in the summertime, every day is good. And he comes yeah. out all the time. And he comes outside and he plays. Yeah. And so those of you who got to meet Scout during his cremation, we apologize. Because he <laughs> was a little very bit active. of a downer. <laughs> But Scout's going to be out. We're going to share a lot of footage of Scout. Um, 
both here on YouTube and on our Patreon and all of our social media accounts. So be sure to go and check out those places. And uh, that it? I think that's it. All right. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We're going to keep that going through 2020 because it's just something that we really enjoy doing at the end of our videos. And it's the very least that we can do for those who have fallen for our country and provided us the freedom to live the lifestyle that we were able to live. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.